Hello, my beloved ones. Here am I using one of these amazing tools from the Ascension Light Tools. These are one of the things that we get as a great gift from the higher spheres to this planet so we can heal ourselves and others. You will find more information about them on my website and also in my Facebook uh, page. My website is, by the way, www.amrak.com and I really recommend these tools. And as I'm sitting here with my dearest friend, Yuta Pankratz, this is her throne and it is all built with all these uh, pyramids inside and they, uh, it is a very, very healing seat. You sit here and immediately you want to meditate and you can go very, very deep with it for the healing of us all. And especially today, that it is the day of, first day of the Tresena of Bats. Bats is the energy of creativity. Bats is the energy of the monkey, they say. And the monkey has many different wonderful qualities. And one of them is the joy, the humor. The last uh, cycle was very intense, the hash. It was when we had to cut off everything we didn't need. But now we learned the lesson and we can enjoy the new times. Uh, the, today, number one is to be in oneness. So allow ourselves to enjoy, to be fun, to be creative, to do new things as I'm doing with these videos. Tomorrow we have the energy of Eve and it is the decision in the duality to Eve. Okay, what do I want to do with this joy? What is the, the, where is my path? Do I want to choose the happy path or the one where there is fear or different negative energies? So that is my choice. We have the energy of bats as a, a carrier for all this. But then again, it is important to see what do I want to do with this. Number three is the activation and the energy is that of ah. So I'm getting new batteries in my power, in my authority, being these pillars between heaven and earth, being the one that is able to reconnect these beautiful energies of Father Sky and Mother Earth. The number four, uh, four is the energy of the Jaguar, Ish. And it is how do I find my, um, my balance in authority. This is a big thing. All of us have issues with authority because we all learn, we have to listen, we have to do. And it is very hard also to be a person in authority. It's not easy. So what it is important is to be like the Jaguar. In your authority, you're taking care of your pe people, but also you are helping them grow. And being flexible is the best way we can be in authority. The number five then is the energy of Tsukim. And it is the joy, the abundance. Once we have gone through all these days, we can sit in our power and enjoy it. And be that beautiful uh, bird that sings for us the song of the new times. And talking about sharing, it's the number six. And the energy is of Akmak. And Akmak is the energy of divine grace. That means you are able to be in this divine grace and receive all the blessings that you deserve. Yeah, it is very special and very beautiful to be in this divine grace and this is only something you can become when you have forgiven, when you are grateful for everything we get in our life. The next energy is Noch. So the wisdom comes and the wisdom that we receive when we are in trust, in deep trust. We trust the universe. Everything that happens is perfect. And this wisdom of the heart 
where it doesn't come from the head and the two brain hemispheres that sometimes have duality, but this deep feeling of your intuition, agreeing and being grateful and enjoying every step on your path. The next day is the number eight, and it's the eight kihash, so I have reached harmony in the way that I have separated the negative and the positive, so this is a great day also, and it's very special and very nice to say, okay, I am sitting on top of the pyramid. Number nine is Kawok, it's the family, it's our tribe. And number nine is the moment where we wish, it is our intentions. So what do we wish for our tribe? How do we want everybody to be together and have fun and be happy and have everything we need? Number 11, uh, number 10 is Akpu, it's the manifestation of the light, of the clarity. In that moment, we can feel very enlightened, very happy. We can see things with clarity, with the energy of our sun. And it also to receive the energies of our central sun and all the new consciousness that is coming to us. Number 11 is the energy of Tihash. And this is the liberation through the shamanic work. You know, shamanic work is to be able to work with the elements to be in contact with the elementals of our earth, but also with our spirit guides that help us, guide us, protect us. Uh, number 12 is the ik, is what we literally can breathe very... <sighs> we are reaching the end of the cycle. The 12 is okay, I'm sharing with all of you this new energy, this new joy, everything that I have learned to come into 13, which is then Ahmak. Okay, I have reached the light, the new day has come for me. And then the next cycle begins. So these are the Tresena for next, uh, the next days. I wish you lots of good things, be in your power, enjoy, dare to have fun. You have all my blessings and permissions to be funny, to be a little bit crazy, because this is about life. Enjoy. I wish you all the best, all my love.